Fearless Freddy. Today, an old friend was coming back to the narrow gauge railway. His name was Fearless Freddy. Everyone had heard tales of Freddy. He was fast, fun, and fearless. Thomas pushed Fearless Freddy into the transfer yards. Hello, Freddy, whistled Sir Handel. I haven't seen you for years. Fearless Freddy is back, puffed Freddy. I didn't know you two were friends, chuffed Thomas. Oh, yes, puffed Sir Handel. Freddy was the fastest engine in the hills. Suddenly, Reneus and Scalo raced into the yard. I'm the winner, peeped Scalo. No, I am, wished Reneus. Who are you? chuffed Freddy. We're the fastest engines in the hills. I'll show you who's fastest, tooted Freddy. I'll race you down the mountain. Reneus and Scalo liked to race. They seemed off excitedly. Freddy was determined to win. Freddy huffed and puffed up the mountain. Flatten my funnel, he wished. I used to be able to chuff up here in no time. Reneus and Scarloe were waiting to start the race. If I get to the bottom without you bumping my buffers, I've won, wished Freddy. All right, fearless Freddy, tooted Reneus. Ready? Steady? Go! Freddy raced along. Reneus and Scarloe tried to catch up with him. But Freddy was racing very fast until he began to run out of puff. Oh no, those young engines will bump my buffers, he chuffed sadly. Suddenly, he remembered an old track. The old Rocky Way, he wished. No one will remember that now. Reneus and Scarloe didn't see Freddy go a different way. This way's much quicker, huffed Freddy. I'll be at the bottom in no time. Freddy rejoined the main track. Soon, Freddy was at the bottom of the hill. 